Hi, so I chose to do my Jack Daw on Last Stop on Market Street, which is by Mad de la Pena. Um, the container I would use, I would create a box made to look like the skyscrapers or some type of building from the community where CJ lives. <laughs> some objects that I would place in this box to share with the students would be a small umbrella. Um, and this represents how it rains in the story as they're walking to the bus stop. And next I would choose a toy guitar because there's a man on the bus that um, play he's he's sitting there but he tunes his guitar and later he plays a song on the bus that CJ enjoys and finds very interesting next would be a toy bus um, Nana his Nana doesn't drive a car because they live in the city so they ride the city bus across town down Market Street to help at a soup kitchen to feed the homeless and they do this every Sunday um, as they get on the bus Mr. Dennis the bus driver he always plays a trick on CJ so he pulled a coin behind CJ's from behind CJ's ear and said hey how'd that get there and then later at the end of the book after the man with the guitar plays uh, such a lovely song CJ tips him as he walks off the bus um, sunglasses there's also a blind man who gets on the bus with his dog and CJ is very inquisitive as to why he can't see um, so the guy he says that he enjoys to just keep his eyes closed and listen to the music so CJ and his Nana both close their eyes to listen to the lovely sounds from the guitar as they're being played. And CJ imagines himself out of the bus, out of the city, and just enjoying like an absolute amazing day that feels magic to him, he says. Um, let's see. And then the last thing I would include in my box would be like a magnetic number five because that is the number of the bus that they ride down Market Street each Sunday to the soup kitchen. Some extra objects I might include in my box would be a bus stop sign or like a little road sign from like the block area or something. Um, this just represents um, the bus stop basically as they wait outside at the bus stop for the bus. And then I might also include a straw because as they're walking in the rain, CJ asks, how come we have to wait for the bus and all this wet? And Anna replies, treats get thirsty too. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? So CJ looks for a long time, but he doesn't see the straw. So he doesn't quite understand what she's saying. But at the end of the book, he understands as in this one um rainbow as they get off the bus before they get to the um soup kitchen the neighborhood that they get off in cj's a little worried because the sidewalks are all crumpled he sees graffiti windows are all busted and stores are boarded up so he's asking why is it so dirty over here and then his nana responds when you're surrounded by dirt you're a better witness to what's beautiful. And as soon as she says that, there's like a rainbow right behind the soup kitchen as they're walking in. So he sees the beauty in it, finally. Um, and then I will also put a car because on the way to the bus stop, CJ sees his friend Kobe as he rides by with his dad in the car. He waves and then CJ, of course, asks another question. How come we don't have a car, Nana? And she's just like, we don't need a car. We have a wonderful bus that takes us anywhere we need to go. And that was pretty much it. I enjoyed this book. I chose it for my book log. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.